In this video, we're going to look at how to determine the number of units of unsaturation in various organic molecules. To start, we're going to look at what a unit of unsaturation is. So we're always going to be comparing our molecules to a straight chain alkane. I'm going to draw butane here, so C4H10. And I'll draw the structural diagram for butane. So we have three hydrogens on our first carbon, a chain of four carbons, and two hydrogens on each of our center carbons for a total of 10. So that's butane. We can also add to butane a double bond or a ring structure, and this will introduce some units of unsaturation. So when we introduce a double bond, we change the formula to C4H8. So because each carbon can have four bonds, our end carbon and one of our middle carbons each lose a hydrogen. We can also draw this as a ring structure. And in a ring, we no longer have one of those loose carbons on the end, and so no carbons in a ring structure will have three hydrogens. So a unit of unsaturation is anything that removes two carbons from a straight chain alkane. Or, sorry, two hydrogens. And so from these examples we can see that two ways to do that are to introduce a double bond or a ring. So now we're going to look at how we can determine the number of units of unsaturation from a structural diagram. I'm going to draw a series of structural diagrams and we're going to go through what features are present that would cause a unit of unsaturation. In our first structure we have a straight chain hydrocarbon. This is an aliphatic molecule. However, now we have two double bonds. Because we have two double bonds, each one is one unit of unsaturation. So that's two units of unsaturation total. Which really means four fewer hydrogens than the alkane. We can also look at the example where we have a ring structure. In this structure, we have a ring and three double bonds. So we add these together and that gives us four units of unsaturation, which is really eight fewer hydrogens than an alkane. Now we're going to look at how we can determine the number of units of unsaturation from a chemical formula. To do this, we need to know that the general formula for an alkane is CnH2n plus 2. So if I have the formula C7H12, I'm going to compare this directly to this formula. So if an alkane had seven carbons, it would be CnH2n plus 2, so it would be C7H16. Since we only have 12, we can take the difference. So we have four hydrogens. This is two units of unsaturation. It's unclear if that is rings or double bonds. We don't know until we see the structure. But from the formula, we're always going to find the difference between our alkane and our formula given, and then divide by two to get units of unsaturation. 